Hello everyone, my name is Courtney Ballou, and in this video I will be talking about other things to do at Animal Kingdom. So in the last video we talked about rides, and the next couple videos will be food. So this is everything else you can do in Animal Kingdom. So the first thing is the Boneyard. This is for any height, and you may remain in wheelchairs. It's mostly for kids 10 and under, and it's a little play area for them. So the next one is Discovery Island Trails. This is also for any height and you may remain in wheelchairs. These are the trails that go around the Tree of Life. So you can see the carvings in the tree and they also have live animals around the tree. So you can see those. The next thing is the Oasis Exhibits. This is also any height. You may remain in your wheelchair. You can see anteaters, boars, barking deer, wallabies, and spoonbills here. The next one is Gorilla Falls Exploration. This is any height, you may remain in your wheelchair. There's audio description available, and service animals are permitted with caution. So you can see gorillas, hippos, and exotic birds. The next one is the Jungle Trek. This is also any height, and you may remain in your wheelchair. It also has audio description, and service animals are not permitted in some areas. So if you ask a cast member, they will tell you where you can go. It's a self-guided tour, and there are many animals on the jungle track. The next thing is the Wildlife Express train. This is for any height, you may remain in your wheelchair. There's handheld captioning and assistive listening available. And this goes through like the backstage area of Animal Kingdom to Rafiki's P Planet Watch. <laughs> so the next thing is the animation experience, which is out at Rafiki's. This one is also any height. Um, it's 25 minutes and you learn how to draw Disney characters. So you'll have to ask them when you get there what character they're doing. They don't have that really listed anywhere but we usually end up doing it anytime we take the train out there. That's kind of the main thing that we do there. But I do get irritated with the drawing classes because I am a perfectionist and it never turns out right. But it's fun to do while it lasts. <laughs> the next one is the affection section. This is any height, service animals are not permitted, and it's a petting zoo for the kids. The next one is the conservation station. This is any height, you may remain in your wheelchair and it goes through different areas. So there's a vet area, there's a nutrition area where you can see them prep food for the animals. They also have amphibians, reptiles, invertebrates, and a science center. And then the next thing is the wilderness explorers. So this is something that you can earn badges. So you can earn over 25 badges and all you have to do is find the wilderness explorer areas throughout the park and complete activities and you can earn the badges. So that's kind of fun for kids that really like animals and can learn animal facts. The next thing is the tree of life. This is any height, you may remain in your wheelchair and there are over 300 carved animals in the Tree of Life. So go around the Tree of Life, go through those trails, see how many animals you can see. They look amazing on the tree. The next thing would be parades, but they don't have parades right now, so they're called flotillas in Animal Kingdom. Um, they are Mickey and Friends. There's drummers. Pocahontas characters, Lion King characters, Donald, and then Goofy and Pals, and they go through the Discovery River. So the Discovery River, I think, goes all the way around Animal Kingdom. So if you can see the water, you can probably see the flotillas. The next thing is Animal Encounters, Winged Encounters, The Kingdom Takes Flight. So this is when there are six different species of macaws that fly through the sky. So they release them in some part of the park and they are trained to fly to the tree of life and get snacks and then fly back. So you can see them flying through the air or you can see them sitting in front of the tree of life. 
The next thing is Feathered Friends in Flight. This one is for any height you may remain in your wheelchair, and it's a 25-minute bird show. So people come out and talk about the birds, and then they bring birds out. The birds will fly around, or they'll do something special. It's a really cool show to see. And then the next one is a celebration of Festival of the Lion King. Um, this is for any height you may remain in your wheelchair. They have sign language and handheld captioning and assistive listening. Um, this one is 30 minutes and it's a Broadway style show. So we watched this, I don't think it was the last time we went, but maybe the time before that. And it's a really cool show to see at least once. Then the next one is the Tree of Life Awakenings. So these are the nighttime shows. Um, this is for any height you may remain in your wheelchair, and it's a proje projection show on the Tree of Life. So they start at dark and they go every 10 minutes until park closes. And it's a projection of like a certain animal an animal will like come to life on the tree of life and it'll run around the tree of life and it might play and it's really cute and then they pick like a different animal for each show. Then the next one is for the 50th anniversary. This is Disney Kite Tales. So there used to be a um, water show I think at Animal Kingdom and they don't do it anymore. So this is in the same area that the water show was. And this one is any height you may remain in your wheelchairs and it's 3D kites of different animals. So they have Simba, they have Zazu, King Louie, Baloo the Bear, and more. So I'm very excited to see this one. So these are all of the other things to do at Animal Kingdom. Um, the next video should be other things to do at Hollywood Studios. So hopefully you are watching these videos. Watch them in any order that you want. If you want to start with one park and watch the park videos, or if you want to watch each park the way that I have posted them, whichever way helps you, please watch the videos. Hopefully it helps. And that's it for this one. So I'll see you in the next one.